think I want script type is equal to text or JavaScript. Source is equal to stew Java script forward slash jQuery dot JS. And then we're just going to close our script tag. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to change this to slideshow. And we're going to stick that in our root index.html. There you go. Right. Let's now stick in our style. Type is text or CSS. Right. I'm going to create a div with the ID of slideshow. That's not right. Slideshow. Let's call container. Now inside here. Um, <coughs> in order for our effects to work properly, I tend to have two divs. One in front of the other. So I'm going to do div class is equal to behind. I'm going to do another one, div class is equal to in front. I'm just going to save that, right. Um, right. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tip. We need to, if you're going to do this live on a site, let me show you. If you're going to do this live on a website, um, you're going to need to preload these images. But because we're on local host, I'm not going to bother doing this. Um, so let me just find it. We're going to need to go into includes bottom. Right, here we go. I've got my preload div. And actually, in this example, I'm using php to scan through a directory that has all of our images for our banner slider and um, it's going to put them all in an image tag but this div here this preload div is visible but it's positioned in absolute and it's minus 1000 pixels to the height so let's just flick back it's actually way up here somewhere you can't see it because it's been moved right the way up here which is which is good because if it's not displayed, I've noticed some browsers don't preload the image. And we don't want that. So if I show you the live website, this can dramatically slow down your load time because they are quite high detail images. Now this is loading here. I don't know, I've already loaded this web page before. Let me hit Control F5 to do a hard refresh. Here we go, everything's loading. This is what I mean by the scanning. And now it's starting. All of our images are preloaded, so you've not got loading during the transition between the images. But I need to explain to you how this is working. Now, this image here has been put to the back div, and now the front one's changed to this one, and this one's faded in. The reason for this is because we don't want everything to disappear, and then this new one to fade in. We want this one to fade on top of the existing image, otherwise you get a disappearing of one image and then a fading in of another we don't want that we want a smooth fade into another image so um, yeah usually if, you, if you're using this site live then you're gonna have to look at preloading the images um, if you've got any problems with that then just send us a message or something like that and uh, I sure I'll be able to let you know the best way to do this um, other than that all we need is another div this one's going to be hidden but it's going to be there right i'm going to give this one actually i'll give it an id it's easier to reference let's counter um i'm just going to put one in there all right so um on second thoughts let me just whip into here I think I changed this on the last one. I've always done it this way, but I think I found a better way to do it. Uh, let me just check. No, I've kept it the same, which is good. All right. So this is going to count 
the image we're on okay so this can only go up to three and then it's going to ping back down so we need to flick to our slideshow javascript and the way we're going to do this is we need to reference a function that's going to flip the images round and then fade in the new one but after it's done this we need to tell it to wait a certain amount of seconds and then it's going to do it again so we're going to do a function that calls itself so i'm going to call this function uh, change image uh, i'm not going to have any variables in it right the first thing we need to do you notice on the other one i did this dynamically so it finds out for itself but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out going to tell the script how many images are going to be in our slideshow so we're going to do variable uh, images in show and I'm going to put three as that's how many images we have um, next thing we need to do is find out what image we're on at the moment and for this we're going to do create a variable called current image and it's going to be equal to we're going to take that ID of our counter so hash counter and we're going to take the HTML right um, I think I think I had some problems with this the first time I ever did this uh, take a look back at this yeah I had to pass it as an int integer because um, it's taken something from HTML so it's, pa it's passing it as a string and we don't want it as a string we want it as a as a number so um, well we can use it as a number we can add numbers to it so yeah we need to pass it as an int integer right, so we're gonna do current image is equal to uh, pass int. Um, oh, we're going to put our current image variable in there. Right. So now we've got the number of images we want to use and the current image we're on. Right. Um, the reason we need to find out what image, how many images are in the show is because if the current image we are on is the last image, we need it then to turn around and go back to the first image. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement. If current image is equal to images in slideshow in show sorry it's the wrong word I uh, know what to put exactly equals to all right so if current image is equal to images in the show which means that it's the last image we want next image I should create that as a variable to be equal to one Okay, now this is going to tell it we're going back to the first image, all right? And we're doing else. So if it's not the uh, last image in the show, we're going to revert it. We're going to just add one to it. So next image would be equal to current image plus one. Okay, so we're just adding one to the current image. So for instance, if if the current image is two. So it hasn't been tagged by this if statement, so it's been dragged into this else. So if it's two, then we're going to add one to it, which is going to move on to the third, which is what we want. Okay, so this is just going to make sure that, you know, the next image is the right image. And I should put var, because we're declaring that variable. Because if this hasn't happened, then the variable hasn't been declared, so we need to declare it. All right. So out of this if and this else 